Hey everybody! Well, today we're going to take a look at this really cool set from Kobe. Now, Kobe is very much like a, a Lego type of sets, the pieces and the way everything goes together. But I've heard such good things about these Kobe sets, and I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time. They do a lot of military vehicles, which is something that Lego won't do. And so it's nice that we have another company that will do that. Now, the really cool thing about these sets is that you'll notice how absolutely smooth and beautiful this thing looks. Uh, there's really no studs or anything showing on it. It looks more like a model kit, which is what I prefer. And this is such an awesome looking jet. This is the F-35A Lightning II. Now, I have to give a shout out to the YouTube channel, The Cool Factor, uh, or maybe I should blame The Cool Factor. <laughs> uh, that channel is hosted by Mike. Mike is a super nice guy. I've been following him for years on YouTube and back when he was on Brick Vault, and he does live streams on Twitch. And on one of the live streams, we got to talking about these Kobe sets, and I've been saying I've been wanting to try one of these for such a long time. And we were talking about this Osprey, this really cool Osprey. I have that one on order. I'll be doing a video on that. And then he showed me this, and I, I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a cool-looking jet. I really, really wanted that. So I ended up uh, buying both sets <laughs> while we were doing that stream. Now here's the back of this. And you can see that they do come with minifigures as well. It comes with, uh, it does have some features in here, like the canopy can open and also the doors for the landing gear open. Looks like we got some missiles and stuff going on down there. I mean, this is such an, a great looking jet. I, like I said, these look like a model kit, which is what I prefer versus like a Lego set where you see studs and stuff. I would rather see something like this. The other thing about Kobe sets is that they have pieces that are specifically made for their sets, like this piece right here, for example, I've never seen that in Lego form. And some of the pieces are specific to just that one particular set. So it's really cool that they will make the extra effort to do that. So I think this is going to be a real fun thing to build. So let's take a look at the parts inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and I started opening this because they're sealed pretty good. Now, I believe that there is no stickers in these Kobe sets. I think they actually... Uh, have everything printed, which is great. Oh, okay, good. So the bags are numbered. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case. So it looks like we got two, two bags and the instructions. So it's just like Lego. I mean, everything's just like Lego. Let me see if I can uh, curve that out a little bit. So let's take a look at the instructions here. Yeah, okay, so it's just like Lego, um, very similar. It tells you how many of the pieces you're going to need and uh, you know, how to build them, just like a standard Lego set, which is very cool. And, let me see. Yeah, so, I mean, this is going to be pretty cool. And then here are the parts. So we got bag one. It looks like they're in smaller bags on the inside here. Very cool. And here's the bag for the second one. See, there's a printed piece right there. Let's see, can I show it without reflection? Yeah, there we go. So I love that the pieces are printed. They're not scared to print their parts and uh, have to rely on stickers so much. And these sets are actually pretty affordable as well. I don't remember how much I paid for this. Let me check real quick. Okay, so it was $62. I bought this on Amazon and it was $62 and I think 37 cents. It was kind of had a weird thing. In fact, it was on sale right now. So uh, that's a really great price. This has 580 pieces. So if this was a Lego set, I mean, they probably would have charged $100 for something like this. So anyway, uh, this should be fun to build. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, so this being my first Kobe set, they do have a slightly different way that they have you build things. For instance, um, I'm already starting the wings here, but they'll have you lay pieces just loose like this. And then you put the pieces on on top later. Lego doesn't usually have you do that. So like this one here is going to go right here. And then you have these two that go right in here. You have to kind of try to hold it all together. And then you have this other one that goes here. And then from there you lay pieces on top of here. So it's a little awkward. It's kind of weird how they do that. But you know, I'm fine with it. I mean, it works just fine. And then also like this part right here, it says to me, be careful to notice the difference because they're very close to each other, those cheese wedge pieces. And then I thought this piece was really cool here. Take a look at this one. See if I can get the focus on it proper here. Okay, so look at that. That's a really nice curved piece. Look at how the back of it looks. 
So that's what I'm talking about. They have these really specialized pieces that are really cool. Like these pieces here are the wing tips and they have that nice curve on those. And I do like the printed parts. Oddly enough, these pieces were already connected. All these printed pieces were already connected. I don't know why that happened. I took them apart so I can have the fun of putting those together. But um, yeah, I love that the pieces are printed and I love those specialized pieces. All right, so, so far I'm really enjoying this. Okay, now this is interesting. First of all, we got these really cool ring pieces and they're gonna go in here like this and on the other side over there, but they give you this piece. Now this piece, I'm assuming we, we might use this later, but for now it's being used as a tool where you put this like this, you hold on to it, then you bring it over here and then you put it in here like this. Let's see if I can do this one-handed here. And you just push it in like that, see? And then that's how you install those. That's really neat. I have never seen that technique before. Well, just my luck. Just my luck <laughs> when it comes to stuff like this. So I am missing a piece and I am missing a crucial, very important piece. And that is the window that goes on the cockpit, the, the canopy. So right here, is on, I'm on stage 40 here to put it on and I I'm looking around and it is nowhere to be found. This is all of what's left of bag number two. I have checked everywhere. I checked inside the box. I checked all the bags that I opened. I checked the other room where I was filming the opening of the, uh, the box. I checked the floor, everything. I can't believe it. How did they forget to pack that piece? I wonder if it was packed separately. Um, yeah, I don't know. And I did notice I got this weird A12 piece of paper in here I wonder if that was like I wonder if that was maybe part of that bag or something and it fell out I really don't know when they were packing it they must have forgot to include it I can't believe it that is so frustrating I mean that's a crucial part of this thing I've gotten this far in this whole build oh man well I guess I'm gonna have to get a hold of them and see if they can send me that piece and they're probably going to think that I'm lying because it's a, a cool looking piece and they're going to think I'm trying to get an extra one or something. Oh man, I can't believe this. That is an absolute bummer. And that's a major piece. I mean, I can understand maybe one of these tiny pieces missing out of this set, but not the, not the main uh, canopy window part. That's just crazy. Oh man. Hey everybody. Well today, ha <laughs> ha just kidding. This is a replacement set. I had to go and replace it. So uh, I emailed Kobe and told him the situation about that uh, canopy piece. But honestly, by the time they get back to me and send me a replacement piece for that, it's going to be at least a month. So I figured, just forget it. I got that set from Amazon, so I just packed it up, sent it back to Amazon, ordered another one of these, and they sent it to me the same day. I mean, I just ordered this a few hours ago, and they've already sent it in. Amazon is amazing. So uh, I'm going to have to rebuild this whole thing all over again, and hopefully I got this piece this time. I did uh, notice in the first one, though, they sent me three of these tail fin pieces, and I and they should have only sent me two. So I think what happened is, is however they do the uh, packaging of these things, I don't know how the sorting machine works, they accidentally sent me an extra one of these and then forgot to include the windshield piece. So uh, maybe that's what happened, I don't know. But anyway, I got to build this thing all over again and hopefully everything's there and then hopefully I'll have it done enough that we can check it out when it's all finished. So let's take a look at the pilot minifigure here. Now this is a really cool figure. They are different than your standard Lego type of figures since they look more human but uh, the hands are similar to a Lego minifigure. But here you can see the printing on his flight suit looks really good. I love that helmet and that oxygen mask part. There's a tube that connects to the bottom of that. I'll show you that when we get to take a look at the plane. Uh, on the side of his sleeve, you can see there's a nice arm print right there. Now, there's no printing on the back, but that doesn't really matter because once he's sitting in the cockpit, you're really not going to see the back of him. The boots and the uh, legs, you, you kind of put all of that together, unlike a Lego minifigure where it's pretty much all put together except for you know, the upper and lower and head. This, you add a little bit more with the boots and the legs, so I thought that was kind of fun to build. That helmet is really cool. Now, let me see if I can show you how that visor goes up and down. So it's a little tricky to put the visor inside that helmet because it snaps in with these two tiny little things. But I will say that once you get it in there, let me see if I can use this knife. See how the visor goes up and down? I mean, you can actually see that moving. 
it's really cool and it's a smooth uh, kind of movement that it has but I like how they made it so you can raise and lower that that is really awesome all right let me show you what his face looks like and here you can see they do provide a separate hair piece for him so that's really cool I was not expecting that usually it's just the helmet but uh, yeah that's really nice that they provided that so if you don't want to have him with the helmet on you don't have to but I think most people probably will use the helmet very cool okay here it is now all together finally got this thing all put together and man I really really like this a lot I like it a lot I think it's because there is no studs showing there is no studs showing it all uh, you know I mean Lego's great I do love Lego but sometimes I wish they didn't have the studs showing or any studs at all and Kobe definitely tries to make this look more like a model kit I mean it doesn't matter if the method is building a plastic model kit or a building block kit the initial thing is to make it look good as good as it can get you know when it's finished and this thing I mean you can notice it's all tiled off it's all smooth there's no studs at all I mean it looks like an actual model kit it looks so good this thing is so sleek now uh, the stand as you'll notice is a little bit you know you can see how wobbly it is so I kinda wish that was a little bit more you know stronger but it's not like it's gonna be moving around a lot once you have it displayed on your shelf I also you'll notice have the uh, the landing gear out so you can choose if you want to have the landing gear deployed or if you just want it more in flight mode I think uh, I'm gonna definitely not have the landing gear out uh, I mean it looks fine but I prefer to I think it'll look more sleek when it looks like it's in flight mode so uh, when you take off those back um, landing struts back there they do give you these and I'll show you what it looks like on the bottom to uh, you know fill in that hole and you can see the nice looking missiles here on the side so I'll get some closes of this so that we can really get a good idea of the details okay so let's take a look at the details on this so let's start with the cockpit now as you can see the uh, pilot sitting in there really nicely he's got that air or oxygen tube that goes up to that face mask piece and it's really nice it's a flexi flexi tube type of material and he sits in there very nicely there is a uh, control panel let me see can you see it you can just see it right in there it's like a little control panel that is a printed piece all of these pieces are printed everything you see on here is printed which is wonderful you don't have to sit here and mess around with stickers which uh, I wish Lego would take a cue from that uh, you know you're paying the premium price for stuff like that you don't expect to have to put stickers on it and here's Kobe they don't pay uh, they don't charge premium prices and they offer printed stuff so if they can do it why can't uh, why can't Lego do it anyway look at how nice this looks I mean there is just uh, as I mentioned there's no stud showing it's all smooth I love how everything is so smooth on here it makes everything look so sleek there's that tail uh, fin piece now these things when I would I, I would say that when you're building this thing a uh, wait to put these on later because they kind of get in the way they're on a ball joint in here and the whole time that you're building this top section up here these get in the way constantly so I would recommend don't even bother putting these on until close to the end like about the time that you're putting these uh, tail fin pieces on that's when you can put them on because uh, otherwise they just get in the way but um, another thing that was weird is when you get this set uh, these section this section here right here and he I think this one as well and this one over here those are already put together and I'm not really sure why they did that I'm guessing maybe because uh, it gets confusing when you're trying to get this pattern correctly in fact the first time I built this I took all of that apart because I wanted the fun of putting that together and it did get a little confusing trying to figure out that pattern and so um, that's probably why they did it and so the second time I built this I definitely just left those together but uh, it's you know it's nice that they give you that option I mean they kind of really thought this through there's another nice little uh, printed section right up here I love those intakes look at that so these things the you build these it's like a sub assembly and they kind of click in place right there and then that piece there kind of holds all of that together but oh god look how sleek that is it looks so cool there is the missiles on the bottom here those are really nice pieces you got a, a longer one and a shorter one and there's two more in a, a little uh, a little bay area down there I'll show you here in just a second but um, I mean it just looks so good this is so well done this engine back here looks really nice yeah so you, you're gonna have to kind of adjust these a little bit to make sure that they're you know even looking but you know like I said this stand is a little wonky um, here is the uh, the printed plaque on the front which looks really nice 
So yeah, very cool. Let me show you the bottom of it. So looking at the bottom of this now, you can see that they actually took the effort to try to finish off this bottom. See how that's all tiled off? I mean, that looks really, really good. Now, they did leave some exposed parts like that, but if this was a Lego set, it would look all like this. So they really tried to finish it off a little bit and make it look much more nicer and much more like a model. I mean, that's really awesome. I love that. I mean, you're not even going to really see the bottom all that much, but it's nice that it's there. And these pieces here were interesting. Look at that. They're really thin tile pieces that they use. I've never seen that before. And Kobe does have some very interesting pieces that are specially made for their sets. And um, I think I read somewhere that some of their pieces are specifically for just one set. It may only be in one set. So that's pretty cool that they will, uh, you know, take the effort and the expense to do that. There's those nice missiles right there. Now this is pretty cool. This is those little doors I was talking about. They almost kind of give you a little handle right here so you can lift these up. And when you open these up there are two more missiles on the inside. See those right there? And they're kind of loose, so they, I guess they're supposed to be like when you open the door, they j drop out. So that's very cool that they did that. I like when they add little details like that, so it just kind of shuts like that. So these are the landing struts that I was mentioning. This one will just pull out if you don't want it on there. I'm definitely going to uh, display this without the landing gear. I mean, they look nice and all, but all you got to do is just pop this off and then, um, let me see if I can get this piece off of here as well. Okay, and then that's where they give you this piece. It's, it's like a little cover. It just goes right in here, and then you'll just push that in place. Well, I'll have to get it in there evenly, but that's how I'm going to display it. I think I want it to look like it's in flight mode. So it's very cool that they give you the option to display it either way. I forgot to mention that you can also open the cockpit here. So you can open that top and look inside there get a better look inside with the details so that's very cool i will say it's very nice to have this piece after the uh, mistake with that first one it is a very nice piece printed as well of course which is fantastic these are the only extra pieces that you get so make sure when you're building this you don't drop any pieces because they don't give you a whole lot of extras this is all you're going to have left when you're done besides the landing gear and the hair piece so there we go, the F-35A Lightning II fighter jet from Kobe. Very impressed with this. I see now why everybody has said that these models are really good. Um, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, so I paid $62 and some change for this model. It was on sale on Amazon as of the making of this video. So uh, I don't know if it still is. And they have a whole bunch of other uh, kits that you can check out and buy. Um, or you can just go to the website, Kobe website itself. But Amazon carries quite a few of these. Very impressed with these. Um, you know, I would say that a lot of times when you uh, buy one of these secondary, um, you know, like brick building kits, uh, sometimes like the Lego knockoffs, the bricks aren't very good or the plastic's not very good. That's not the case with this. These, these pieces are, are good quality, nice quality plastic, nice quality fit. Uh, you don't have any pieces that don't, you know, fit too good or loose or anything like that you don't have that problem with this i'm very impressed with the quality of this and also i'm glad to see that they are um, not scared to do military vehicles since lego won't do military vehicles which is unfortunate but uh, i'm very impressed with this <laughs> as this being the first time i've done a kobe set i'm very impressed with it so very cool i do have the osprey on order um, i'll be doing a video on that when i get it because i think that's another really awesome vehicle i just love that front view right there that looks so cool <laughs> All right, well, anyway, if you want one of these, head on over to Amazon or Kobe to go get one and uh, check out the rest of their stuff. They have a ton of stuff. They have submarines. I might get a submarine, too. Those subs are really cool looking. God, they have so much cool stuff. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I very much appreciate it. And until the next video, I will see you then. So thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.